Uh, your biggest supporter is a stranger. Your biggest hater is somebody you know. It's like we all got gaslighting narcissists somewhere in our life, right? These people are just put in our path for, a, it's gotta be a soul lesson of some sort to realize that these people are so entrapped in the matrix. Their mind is so within the firmament. They got this firm dome. They're not trying to hear anything, but they're ready to project everything onto you and take it from somebody who thinks that they've just dropped every truth bomb and be like, this is the one that's gonna change everything. It isn't, <laughs> they don't change. They don't want to change. They're going to continually go down the path. That doesn't mean that you do not give them the chance. That doesn't mean that you treat them in such a way that's, degrad that's degrad degradative or a defamation of their character because you too always want to be given a chance. And that is the real trick here is realizing that when we have this, it's an opportunity to express ourselves. It's an opportunity to keep our composure and extend an olive branch. Even if these people are the most lizard brained, reptilian consciousness, motherfuckers <laughs> that we've ever met in our life. It's, it's our chance to, you know, lay the smack down, but do it in such a way that it's eloquent, that you can look back on it after the emotions have passed and you're still able to read it like it was on the front page of the newspaper and you're not really cringeworthy and then that forces you to get your facts together make sure that you are well articulated because if this person was ready to gaslight you put you on blast in front of their family and your family you want to be able to sit there and be like yeah i said that and i have about 13 other points that i'd like to bring to your attention about that notice how they'll never answer your questions they'll just throw shit at you all day but they'll never take anything look at <laughs> this is where we, this is the test right here because it's all about energy in this in this existence to me it's about how we like shout out Dolores Cannon shout out the ability to manipulate and keep our emotions in check our energy in motion this is our test this is one of our tests and our ability to react in such a mature, wise way is going to be what separates our old selves from our future selves. So take these tests as an opportunity and fuck. I know because at some point it's like the matrix is throwing everything at you. Ba 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 ba. It's like, what? Like, it's, it's like the, it's like we have a, this, we have a beautiful side of synchro mysticism and then we have the synchro mysticism that will just sh want to shit on you. I th but here's the key is staying in that higher consciousness state of neutrality because in the 3D, if you're too in the roller coaster, if you're riding your highs too much, it's, it's, everything has an opposite and equal reaction in the metaphysical as well. So if you wanna ride that high when your business is going really well, you got that business promotion, or you just, are you, are, you know, whatever it is, you're feeling that high high, you're gonna have a low low. To me, in my experience, and a lot of people that I've talked to say the same thing. So with that said, the as above, so below being said, staying in this conscious state of neutrality. This to me is the essence of being cool. If you're able to keep your cool at all times, only cool things will come to you. It's like, imagine playing basketball, you hit the shot and, and you, don't, you react the same as if you made it or if you missed it. It's like being a quarterback and you're in the Super Bowl and you throw a touchdown pass to your favorite wide, your best wide receiver. Now, while the ball's in the air, you're gonna, be, you're gonna react the same because you know it's gonna hit him right in the hands in the perfect spot. Whether or not he catches it or he, or he doesn't, you have to be able to react the same. Which like when you're talking to the gas lighting narcissist, whether or not they receive the message or they just throw some shit, bullshit right back at you, you gotta be able to react the same. And now look it, this is easy talk. It's easy talk to say all of this but that is the goal. Easier said than done, right? So, 
you know, just look at it as a soul test. Look at it as a chance to evolve. Look at it as a chance. Like, why are we gathering all of this information if we know the matrix is bullshit? Why are we out here trying to wake people up? Because these are all souls. If we are all in on this collective consciousness together, we owe it to ourselves and other people to be planting the seeds properly. Um, because once, you know, more and more stuff, you never know what can happen, how people can wake up. You never know it, you know? These red pills, sometimes they take a long, a lot longer to digest, to swallow and digest. But we gotta, we gotta be doing our best. So that's the essence. Shay, much love. Take care. And fuck these blue lights. Get the strap. Where's the strap?